Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with an Aldi haul. This is my first grocery haul of the year. If you've been following along, I have been doing a pantry challenge since January 1st of this year, um, and so I haven't shopped for groceries since last December. So I went to Aldi, I spent about $130, so let me jump right in. So I'll start back here with the produce. I grabbed some um, Brussels sprouts, and then I grabbed some um, frozen cut green beans. I grabbed two bags of extra fine green beans. I love these things. And then I also grabbed some organic broccoli some classic coleslaw. I like to have this on hand. Usually I'll use it for stir fries or something like that. And then one of their Caesar salad kits and a bag of sweet peppers. Usually, again, this is something that I like to just have on hand too. And they're cheaper than the three pack of the big multi or tri-colored peppers. Every time I go to Aldi, I always say I never ever, hardly ever find um, meat on clearance, but I did today. So I grabbed two packages of boneless, skinless um, breast tenders. And so both packages were about the same price, $11.64 a pound. And so I um, paid half price on those. And then I grabbed this bag of frozen grilled chicken breast strips. It's 22 ounces. Whenever I have a recipe that calls for cooked chicken, this is just an easy solution for me. I'll grab how much chicken I want, and then um, for the recipe, then I'll just throw it back in the freezer and use it again. So I like to have these. Um, right here, I have some cashews. One of our subscribers and friends suggested that I get these for Howard to try out. Now, I couldn't remember which flavor she said to try, so I grabbed both. So I got him coconut and honey roasted, and then I got myself some of these, and Howard too, some of these um, pistachios. I am allergic to them, so I hardly ever eat them. I get like a scratchy throat and stuff. I have to take a Benadryl with them, but. Anyway, y'all didn't ask all of that. I also grabbed some of this beer battered, um, these beer battered fish fillets. We're not big fish people. Um, fish is not something I buy all the time, but I try to, I'm trying to eat less red meat and stuff like that. Grab some Texas toast because I have been out of it since the challenge started and I have been craving it. Um, I don't think I mentioned these green onions when I was talking about produce. I use green onions for all sorts of things. And then I've also been craving a flatbread pizza. And I love these Aldi flatbread pizza crusts. They are so good, so we're gonna have pizza soon. And then I grabbed some of this um, popcorn. Now, just like everywhere else, Aldi has gone up on their prices. Um, this you th th this popcorn they've gone down on so this popcorn at its i guess most expensive was about three dollars and 18 or 19 cents now it's back down to 249 and it didn't say it was a special price so hopefully it's gone back down permanently um i got my um toddler some milk and then i also got him these pistachio these um potato sticks to try out. Um, I love having this tortellini on hand. There's all sorts of recipes that I do with the tortellini. And then I got this uh, crispy pan pizza, it's pepperoni. So I will say they used to sell these um, pan pizzas in a twin pack. Used to get two for $9.99. Now they sell them just in a single pack and this one was $6.99. I started not to get it because it's very similar to the DiGiorno pizza, and I think you can get those for like $7.50 at Walmart, but I got it anyway, save 50 cents. And then um, I have been craving these um, coconut fudge, these caramel coconut fudge cookies, so I grabbed a packet of that. And then I got some of these peanut butter cream filled cookies too. Um, I thought Howard might like them. And then I got a couple of things of jerky. So Korean barbecue, and that's beef. And then I got the spicy garlic, which is pork. I discovered these, um, this deli selection meat. I don't know, it's been several months ago, and then I got hooked on it. Of course, I haven't had it since the challenge, so I grabbed some of that. 
and okay I don't need any more seasonings but I could not resist this it looked really good I'm not keto but like I said it just looked really good spicy and herbal with garlic notes so let me turn it over so you all can see the back of that there's no sugar in there and then this was a special buy this was pricey I started not to get it but I think it was like $6.99 and you get shrimp wontons um shrimp money bags and shrimp spring rolls so we'll give that a try i grabbed two cans of cream of chicken because i only have one can left and i use it all the time in recipes these eggs i think were 252 i think and then um, howard really likes to snack on cheese so i got him this smoked gouda i don't think i've got him that before got him that before and then I also got him this vintage English cheddar as well thought he might like that um, I haven't I don't think I've seen this salted caramel yogurt um, but I love this indulgent yogurt brand period but um, this flavor sounded really good to me so I wanted to give it a try I got just a plain old yogurt I got a couple of Monterey Jack cheeses um, those are the only that's the only cheese I don't have on hand and I think that is it. I didn't go super crazy. I'm still working on my pantry and freezer, so I don't want to overstock again. But anyway, this is everything that I picked up on my Aldi fill-in haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.